Hey there, it is Quinn with PTSD While Black. Um, tonight I'm checking in on the subject of sex and relationships and healing beyond trauma. Um, as I've explained many times here, I survived rape over 10, well, 14 plus years ago, but it still impacts my life today. And I'm grateful that uh, my husband and I are now at a space where we can actually talk about trauma. Hi there. But we can actually talk about what we need to feel safe in the relationship sexually. And I'm just really reflecting today on how grateful I am for this growth in our marriage. And, and really for me to get grow beyond having a fear of sex, obsessing about being harmed um, during sex to to being a liberated normal partner. Um, it feels, it feels amazing. There are still times that I get, um, triggered. There's still times when it happens, but, um, they're less often and, or they're less as, they're not as intense. So that's, that's been really grateful. But one of the things that my husband and I are working on right now is creating a contract around sexuality. And like, in it is writing, you know, how we are dysfunctional sexually, the things that I do that are dysfunctional, like hiding my feelings or not asking for uh, love when I, you know, not at, or accepting sex when I want love, not asking for love, not asking to be held or hugged. Um, and what are some of the positive things that we can do on the other side of this? How can we heal this particular condition within our relationship? So I'm just surprised because I remember when we first got together and we were doing this couples group and sex was one of the topics for a contract. Contracts are like agreements of how we're going to handle these things in our relationship. So it starts out with like things like chores or finances or traveling or trips, but to deal with sexuality and um, the relationship was so taboo for me. I was like, mm, can't talk about it. I'm too triggered. I'm too traumatized. Can't do it. And so we've been together, together. We've been, we'll be married 22 minus 14, eight years. We'll be married eight years, but we've been together as a couple since 2010. So 12 years. And it's like, okay, I'm just now getting to the space. And my partner is the first partner I had after surviving right so it's it's taken a while for me to relax and a while for me to calm down and the reason i'm making this video is because i know that there are other people out there that are living with trauma uh ptsd after surviving an assault or rape and um just let to let you know there's some hope that there are some other ways around things and i'm finding this contract process is really helpful because it's it i feel empowered i feel like okay, I have a chance to have my voice be heard on the subject of something where I was really hurt in the past. And um, one of the things that we did, and I recommend this for, for folks, um, if you can't afford couples counseling, if you can't afford therapy, for whatever reason, 12-step groups are awesome because <laughs> of the least you can go into a space and have some kind of group support around any particular issue that you have. So um, some of the things that have helped my that have helped me um, over the years is Sex Addicts Anonymous, they actually talk about sexual anorexia and some of their meetings are, are um, geared towards sexual anorexia. So that's been really helpful. I've gotten the Patrick Carnes book. Um, is that called sexual? Is it just sexual anorexia? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the white book by Patrick Carnes. And um, the other thing that's really helping me is the basic text in Alcoholics Anonymous. You don't have to be an alcoholic or a drug addict to, to use the book. It's the it's the, the basic text that all the other 12-step programs kind of pulled from. And in it, it has a uh, paragraph on asking God to help you shape sane and sound ideals around the subject of sex. And because um, you do an inventory of how you behaved 
um, in your relationships and you make amends for how you behaved in your relationships. And usually the amends process is like um, being honest with yourself, being honest with your partner. And if you harm someone else in a previous uh, relationship, you don't go back to that person to correct that amends, but you do it in the current relationship. So if I was dishonest about my needs and when I was in high school or dating someone, then I don't go and call that high school boyfriend. I, <laughs> I'm just honest about my needs with my partner and that's called a living amends. And I really appreciate that. That's been so helpful um, to know that I have choices around this. I think rape, really robs us of the choices that we feel that we have. It limits us. And um, it's a reminder that that shutting down isn't the only response. So anyway, I wanted to share the sexual ideals prayer. My husband and I, we just took from the AA Big Book, it's pages 69, <laughs> 69 talks about sex, 69 through 70. And we kind of wrote it as a, um, taking that text and writing it as a prayer to God. So it states, God, we ask you to help us to shape a sane and sound ideal for our future sex life. We ask that we ask you to mold our ideals and help us to live up to them. We remember always that our sex powers were God given and therefore good neither to be used lightly or selfishly, nor to be despised or loathed. Help us to be willing to grow towards our ideals and make amends where we have done harm. Guide us in what to do in each specific matter. You alone can judge our sex situation. We pray for the right ideal, for guidance in each questionable situation, for sanity and strength to do the right thing. God grant us tolerance, patience, and goodwill to our partner and our coupleship. Please remove our self-will that blocks us off from your love and care. Thy will not ours be done. And I just think that's so powerful. God, okay, God's involved in everything. Even when I go poop, when I'm in the bathroom, taking a shower, God's involved in that too. Finding a parking space, God's involved in that. So God's also involved in our sex lives. Um, <laughs> so I appreciate this prayer or something to do with my partner, um, to be open to having new approaches around sexuality and that I'm not having to operate in my own self-will of either I have to be ready to go and turned on all the time or fearful and terrified all the time. I can just say I'm awkward. I don't know what I want to do. <laughs> and we've done that and it's, it's so good. Because it's just surrendering. It's surrendering this part of our marriage to the divine. Um, that that we know that that the divine has a hand in this as well. So I'm really appreciative that we're doing this work because it means it really means a lot. Yeah. All right. So I hope that somebody found this helpful and feel free to to join in. If you want to ask me about programs and stuff, I'll help you look up programs, but there's a lot of them on, I just Googled. If you go to Wikipedia and you look up 12 step programs, there are so many that are listed. Um, you may be able to find something in your area and what may work for you. So yeah. All right. Until next time, friends. Peace.